Peter, thank you. Now to the latest after two FBI agents were killed while serving a search warrant Tuesday morning in sunrise. The FBI identified the suspect as 55 year old David Lee Huber and investigators say he has no prior criminal history. CBS 4's Joan Murray is live outside the funeral home in Pompano Beach where the body of one of the agents was taken. Joan. Good afternoon, Maribel. Yeah, yesterday afternoon, late yesterday afternoon, the body of slain FBI agent Laura Schwarzenberger was taken here to the career funeral home. The FBI tells me that they are talking to the families about whether there will be any kind of public memorial or the families would prefer private services. So that has yet to be determined. In the meantime, we are learning more about the lifelong work of this agent and the other agent fighting child predators. The loss is devastating. Wednesday, an army of FBI agents gathered at the Broward Medical Examiner's office. Police officers and sheriff deputies led a long procession of cars and the hearse carrying the body of Special Agent Laura Schwarzenberger. Schwarzenberger was killed with Special Agent Daniel Alphen Tuesday morning when they executed a search warrant at a suspected child pornographer's home. Clearly a sobering reminder of how dangerous uh, law enforcement is. Uh, you know, certainly the men and women that get up each and every day to keep us you know, safe and sound. It, it just reminds us that there are inherent risk, real risk, uh, that unfortunately sometimes the ultimate price or sacrifice is made to keep us, you know, safe. Schwarzenberger and Alphen spent years tracking and arresting suspected child predators. Alphen's expert cyber work led to the arrest and 30 year prison term of Stephen W. Chase, suspected of operating the world's largest child porn site. Alphen said at the time, as they get smarter, we adapt. We find them. It's a cat and mouse game, except it's not a game. Kids are being abused, and it's our job to stop that. As a mother, as a friend, as someone who serves, you know, in our community, like I couldn't say enough good things about her. Justin Brown runs CrossFit gym in Coral Springs, where Laura Schwarzenberger worked out. The gym is holding a fundraiser to help her two young children. We feel like she's part of our family, she's part of our community, and that's why this has been such a, an extreme challenge for all of us to try to process right now. Now, just minutes ago, a car was towed from the Sunrise apartment parking lot where this shooting unfolded. We are not sure whether that car belongs to the accused gunman or somebody else, but it's being towed for evidence as part of this long investigation. Back here live. So we are still learning more about the accused gunman. He did not have a criminal record. Uh, we are trying to get more information on that, which we'll bring you at 5 o'clock. Reporting live in Pompano Beach, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.